Fly company, how's it going? So I recently took part in SCAR 4 for Antweeds. And this particular tournament, I took three robots with me. I took Petrify, my main control bot. I took a dual axe wielding robot called Protosynthesis. And my first attempt at an undercutter, Katrina. So we'll start with Katrina's battles. Katrina trying to get to the wheels, scoring a couple of successful hits on those wheels. Flippy with a missed flip. And little chunks flying off, probably just acetate at this point. Oh, a hit on the back of Flippy, but it's still moving just fine. Oh, Flippy drives a little bit. Both robots up to speed. Katrina with the reach advantage. Pike wheel with the wedge, which is going to be strong against the horizontal spinner. Seems like Katrina's not spinning particularly quickly compared to Pike wheel. Pike is spinning even faster. And still using that wedge. Katrina trying to find the angle, not able to though. Katrina spinning up, expand the box, try to hug it and flip it. It looks like if expand the box gets that flip on Katrina, Katrina might be have a hard time hitting anywhere on expand the box. And Katrina's back over and back up to speed. Oh, and the wheel has come off of Katrina. Yeah, that's going to be... So, Katrina's final score for the event was 1 and 2. Fortunately, it wasn't enough to progress, but got some decent fights out of it. The only major damage that I can see is the blade has got a little chip in it. Apart from that, that's it. Um, no other damage. Apart from losing a couple of wheels and the weapon motor coming a little bit loose. That was it. So, not bad for a first time of an undercutter, but I can easily make it, I need to make it better. So, next uh, set of fights, Protosynthesis. Is stuck? No, it's perfectly fine. Protosynthesis with a shove into the corner, Flipstar seems to be struggling a little bit. And Brosins is so close to getting Flipstar into the pit and using the opportunity to get strikes with those hammers. And that is the win. Spandibot gets a nice grab and a flip on Brosins, which rights itself and chases Spandibot around. Spandibot with the flick nearly towards the pit. Spandibot. Crowling, yeah. the sensors towards the pit, towards those screws. We may have to start counting here. Oh, and expandable flips it back over. Oh, there goes one of the arms of Protosynthesis, nearly into the pit. Expandable, try and scoop it up. You see him doing these little flicks as his opponent approaches him, trying to flip towards the pit. Stand up with the flip and hit. Ah. Three, one, two, fight. One of them tossed in the air. Something's been unplugged. It looks like Shikash has been unplugged. Yeah. Spandle Bot shoving stuff around. Gold cartridge. Fish Bot doing its thing. Dancing all over the arena. Something's running the floor. Cartridge is gone. Spandle Bot bullying Fish Bot. Oh, something dropped. It looks like a... Oh, he's going to be trying to self right now. Dancing around on his lip. Yay! 
Graph's acetate's been damaged. Uh, Proof synthesis is going to get cast out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's a 10 count on Proof's synthesis. So the final bottle score for Proto-Synthesis was 2-2. I did make it into the top 16 with it, but I like to think I give it a good shot. Unfortunately, the axes have to be facing the same way to self-right, and they were like that instead of like that. So there was no way it would self-right. Major damage, axe broken off. There was a bend on this motor. This wire was taken off completely. This motor's been bashed in a fair bit. And we've got a little bit at the back, which has just been shredded. So, not bad, not bad. Did a lot better than I expected, to be honest. But I am planning to actually take Protosynthesis a little bit further and actually just have the one axe powered by two motors for a bit more speed and a bit more torque. So let's move on to the last machine, Petrify. I believe it's going to be a new uh, sprung wedge, but uh, it looks like the wedge is uh, caught underneath it. Petrify gets into a good grab there, so I'm doing its best to get away and does. Yeah. The screws are now active. Oh! oh the wheel and the oh. 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 Baphomet seems to be sitting there. It's come to life. Still not going. Please, please. Unless it's being saved from it. No, it's not. Petrify now also has the grab. 
They're just hugging. That's all they want to do. Hugging in the middle of the arena. Ooh, nearly taking to the screw. Oh! Yeah. Rev one upside down, got flipped by Petrify. Flips itself back over. Petrify now the one upside down. Rev one is waiting for that ideal hit. Maybe into the screw. Petrify has rice itself in that time though. Revron skips over the front of Petrify. Scores a small hit on the front, but doesn't seem to do have much of an impact. Revron frantically zipping back and forth around the arena, grinding on Petrify, narrowly escaping the wedge and grabber of Petrify, which gets brought down quickly, but misses. The two now dancing about. Petrify slamming itself into the wall. Revron popping Petrify up into the air. Petrify looking a little punch drunk now. Still in control. Seems to have woken back up. And Revron backing itself into the screws. You don't want to do that. Oh! Still working. There's no exposed lipo here. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh there goes the real. Spin in a circle. It will whack him. I think the top has been separated, but that is some entanglement there. Are we calling that? And so Petrify's final battle score was 4 2. Did very well and really happy that the fact I managed to get into the top 8. A little bit gutted. But, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's either destroy or be destroyed. And unfortunately, for Petrify, it was the latter. Taking a look at the damage, the lid was ripped off. The claw was still attached to the servo, but the wire had completely been uh, removed from the receiver. One of the motors lost a wire, so I couldn't... Uh, steer anymore, I was going round in circles. There's a huge slice in the side which is just ripped away from the like the floor. The titanium surprisingly still holding up. There is a couple of scuffs, a few other dents, but unfortunately it was gutted. Which brings me nicely. Onto the award. I won the prize for being the most destroyed. A little bit annoyed that the strongest machine that I built ends, ended up giving me this trophy. <laughs> but you know what? I am so, so chuffed that I own this. But... It now means it's time for a redesign for Petrify. This version was good, but there are still a few flaws in it. So I think it's time to go back to the drawing board. Still keep the likeness, but try something a little bit different. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks very much for checking it out. If you want to see some other stuff I've done, including some other previous competitions and other builds, I'll leave a link up there. And if you want to subscribe to see what I've got coming next, including rebuilding Petrify and a few other things I've got in the works, I'll just leave a link over there. So, that's it for this one. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Where's the rest of you? Off to display.